hi hello friends so in today's video what we are going to see is how to uh, use an x propagation tool in your formal uh, using your formal test bench so here if you see we will be if you set up this x prop test we will be able to know uh, how this graphical tool also we can see in which state to which state it is going why it is failing and many things like that so in order to understand this let's go back a little bit uh, so this is the same design which we are working on and we have our innate input these are the inputs and then coming out so here let's see what is x prop and what is x is so x basically means an unknown value uh, we don't uh, really know whether it is a zero or one and we can also call this as a don't care values so the main reasons or the causes for the x pro which are x uh, x propagation will be our x values will be uh, initialization issue uh, like undefined logic parts or floating inputs uh, where we will be not driving it anything properly and uh, these are the main things and uh, apart from that why this matters like in case if we have a um, floating inputs or in case if we have like unspecified uh, issues then we will not be able to know what is the correct output so in order to uh, make our behavior make our system uh, accurate and our simulation and verification accurate it is better to use uh, x prop verification while you are using formal verification so how to do this this is relatively simple you need to have uh, previously we were seeing deadlock and coverage and stuff like that so today we just need these three lines where you will be including like check x prop init control true sequential this is a sequential logic so i am using like a sequential and then i have a fsm so i used this fsm with what it will do means it will take the states uh, it will take all the necessary states and uh, i am proving this in case if you want to use in your design a specific thing then go to this help browser search in for this help browser you can click here tickle command help once you click that this will open uh, you can go and read and uh, use whichever thing you want for our design today that's all we needed so we used that in the tickle file then in the svf file uh, we this is one thing which you need to remember in case if you are going to do an x prop check uh, write uh, this dot is dollar unknown not of is dollar unknown signal on all your input which means all my input we are telling the tool it should not be unknown value at least we are giving an assumption in case if the tool can break it then uh, we will be getting an x prop issue which we can capture in the using our methodology so this is one change I made and another one change what I made is today I added like a output logic uh, the finished signal which we were already using I mentioned like x prop fail and x prop pass like this uh, we will we don't need to give anything assigned to pass also so let's save this uh, here we are coming back to our uh, uh, environment here we are going to run this uh, tickle file whichever we are having once if we run we will be able to see all these things and uh, we can this is the thing fsms which i already declared there so it is coming and uh, you can make to prove task it's passing here and uh, <coughs> this this is we tested it but what we really need to know is uh, we need to check uh, once if you yeah okay uh, so here in case if you don't even have this let's see let's say you your uh, window open just the fpv like formal pop property verification then you click this plus it will show add in this you need to come down to x propagation verification and here you can see x prop setup menu in this x prop setup menu click this x propagation setup wizard if you click this there it will show multiple things if you want you can use this next next and then uh, you need to click prove once if you click prove it is proving multiple things so what it basically doing here is so this is the source where it should start and what is the target so we earlier gave is there any bus floating is there a bus contention what are all the bus contention signal 
uh, from there to go to clock reset, B box input, control points, data points, output, flops with reset pin, all these things you go like that we are giving. That's what you can see here. Uh, now, but I am mainly interested in, I know that in my design, the inputs have an issue where we didn't, we, it was like a floating input which we uh, didn't define it very correctly. So this should create an issue. Let's uh, run this. In order to understand, this will be a better example. So I'm keeping uh, inputs to uh, outputs or VBOX. Let's run everything also. Let's click next. Um, I'll just keep like extra one. This is like a task name. The Whatever the task we give, extra extra names will be getting added here. Uh, I'm clicking through. So once if we click through, we can, we are able to see there are multiple files in this. Uh, a very easier example to take is this thing outputs will take so from inputs to outputs we are seeing the outputs are failing My, all the this output and this output is failing this pass is passing uh, we'll see this reason in a minute but let's explore one thing about one thing so here you can see this output uh, here in this xprop bar if you see here uh, xprop settings is there uh okay this is not needed sorry uh in this xprop uh bar or here sorry in this xprop analysis browser you can see this uh, filter navigation status this is not one which one um, okay i forget um, uh, one particular thing but anyway that is not a problem uh, what i was trying to show is how to open the simulation tool usually we can double tap this this will open the simulation browser like this so here we are able to see that uh, a and b is propagating to xs so because of this what is happening is even in the next state is becoming x and uh, our finished is becoming the current state is becoming next x so because of this it is happening in case if we want to see it visually how it is happening then here there is a graph tools option in this graph tools option you need to come graph show graph and visualize if you come here it will be like this here you can click this play option so what it will do means from where it started what is happening and why it became xprop like why it uh, how this xprop thing um, flows in the direction it will show uh, this is one very good observation thing our design is very small uh, but in case if you have a larger design then this is going to be a very useful thing for you and uh, in case if you want to see the overall design uh, diagram then you can clip, click this initial uh, browser thing so this will show what and all we have so we can see that our xprop file is coming from a uh, means this is the input and this is the output we don't have any uh, inputs coming to the pass state and then this finished state is uh, combination of a b c d going to this next state from next state it is going to current state and from current state it is coming to finished state so this is the thing which we are able to visualize using this xprop and uh, because of this reason only the pass alone didn't uh, fail other uh, xprop outputs finished and xprop fail is failed uh, so in order to understand why this uh, this a b c d uh, becomes x we one more thing which the the design con which i constructed was in a wrong way in order to make this xprop in order to show you guys the xprop verification but uh, one more thing which you can do is here in this view you can come and click the show reset cycles which will show here so if you see here before uh, zero uh, this should we should have set it to properly but we didn't set it correctly so this was x and then later it started propagating to x uh, the reason is i didn't uh, set it in a correct way uh, but the intention of this video is not to teach the design but it is more like to teach how to use the xprop tool and uh, i believe uh, this will be useful for you and uh, 
following this you can click anything and then you can go and look into that visualize it so whenever you visualize it it is starting from a or b or c or d because of our signals so this is all guys what i wanted to uh, share with you today like how to use the xprop verification tool and uh, how to do this i hope this video will be helpful we'll meet tomorrow in some other video uh, about formal verification thank you bye